everyone! Today I'm going to do a highly requested video on my Christian Louboutin lip color haul. So I'm going to unbox them and show them to you because there are several different types of packaging and formulas available. So on my blog, I did a preview post on the Rouge Louboutin trifecta. So there's one in each formula. In case you have not yet read my preview post, there is the Velvet Matte Formula, the Sheer Voile Collection, and of course, the Signature Silky Satin Collection. So six of these I ordered sight unseen, and I also ordered one lip liner, the natural shade, because I figured it would be more versatile and I could wear it with any of the lipsticks. I figured I would order a nude because I wanted to see the color coverage. Obviously, reds are beautiful, they're consistent, they're long wearing, but it's the nudes that can be troublesome. So I wanted to try just nothing to see how light it was, and of course, to see if the color coverage was just as consistent as with the Rouge Louboutin. Luckily, Bengali and Just Nothing wear beautifully, just as I had hoped, and I do think that Bengali is especially beautiful as a matte because even though it's bright, since it's not glossy, it makes it a little bit more wearable. Now because I know those who have dry sensitive lips will ask, the Velvet Matte formula does not sit in my lip lines and it's not drying at all. So I think that these are really, really beautiful mattes. I actually forgot to exfoliate and scrub my lips before I tried it on and it actually made my dry patches less noticeable. So I think that because this particular lipstick is more of a soft matte finish, it doesn't highlight my lip imperfections or dryness and it's not excessively powdery. So if you're scared of matte lipsticks, this is a really good one to try. This formula is as universally flattering and appealing as any lipstick could ever be. Of course it's expensive, but I think this is the one that people will love because it feels so light, but it looks so rich. And it's medium to full color coverage, classic satin finish. It has a little bit of shine, a little bit more than the matte obviously, but it still feels so comfortable on the lips. It hugs the lips really closely. My lips don't feel weighed down by the color and I feel like because it's offered in so many different variations that anyone, even if you don't like lipstick, can find a shade to wear that will suit and flatter your complexion. I wore the Sheer Voile in Rouge Louboutin in my Miami vlog, in case you've seen that. It was a quick little preview of my outfit of the night and makeup of the night. And I just think it is the most fabulous sheer red I've ever tried. Normally I don't like sheer reds, but I think this one is just phenomenal. And the packaging is the most beautiful in my opinion because it looks like a mermaid's tail. The formula is also very smooth and forgiving on dry lips, just like with the mattes, but I feel like this one isn't slippery or excessively glossy the way a lot of sheer lipsticks can be. 
Then we have escatin, which I might not be pronouncing correctly, so please forgive me if I said it wrong. This is a bright orange shade, and as I've mentioned before, I don't normally wear oranges, but because I love the formula so much, I decided to give it a try. Again, I was pleasantly surprised because I also find this quite wearable. If you're scared of color, which I know many women are, the Sheer Voile collection is made for you. And I chose two colors, one natural and another bright, but the natural color is something that I normally wouldn't choose because it's another My Lips But Better shade. But as fate would have it, this is the color that I like the most, and I wasn't really even expecting to be blown away by it, but I just find that this is a handbag staple. It makes my lips look more polished. Even if I'm not wearing makeup, I feel comfortable in it, so I highly recommend this one. When I placed my order on Nordstrom.com, I did so because I saw the lip definer. They're $40 a piece, unlike the lipsticks, which are $90 a piece. I figured if I were to try the Louboutin lip liner at any time, it would be now. So it is calligraphy inspired. It has great design, of course. It's creamy enough to wear on its own, but basically I would consider it a waterproof base. It's only offered in five shades because it's intended to match the natural tone of your lip contour and not compete with whatever lipstick you put on top of it. Now that you've seen all nine lipsticks and one lip liner swatched, I know it's hard to pick just one to splurge on, so I thought I would share my top three picks. First being the Sheer Formula in Rose to Desert, and I actually like this one because it is so easy to wear, and it's understated yet flattering, so you could still make a statement with a glossy sheer lip. Overall, I find the velvety matte lipsticks the most consistent, and so I have to recommend Bengali and Just Nothing. I do think that I will pick up a few more of the nudes because they're so creamy, really rich. They even beat Tom Ford's mattes hands down. The consistency is so creamy and really nourishing, especially on my extra, extra dry sensitive lips. A good matte hot pink like this is hard to come by, so definitely pick this up. And last but not least, of course I had to include a rouge. You really can't fault any of the three rouges, but I will say that you should try the classic formula, the Silky Satin, because I do think that it has the right amount of Luster. Just like this one where you're constantly watching my lips move, this is the Troy Decolette again. And I just like this one because it's natural, but I think that the rouge is so much more pigmented. And if you're looking for a timeless red, especially if you'd like to match your classic red soles, then I highly recommend this lipstick. I'm sure all of us had doubts at one point or another, but these lipsticks are actually worth $90 and I am so blown away. I almost can't believe I'm saying that and recommending recommending these so wholeheartedly, but they are truly the best lipsticks in the world. I'm very, very impressed, not with just the packaging quality, but the performance, the wear, the pigmentation, just everything about these lipsticks is spot on. I'll go ahead and post more details on the blog for those interested, so please swing by www.thereviewer.com for more. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this try-on session and first impressions video. See you next time. Bye.